Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to send an SMS campaign. This is the most requested feature, but it seems to be the most confusing feature. And so at corporate, we are working diligently to make this a much more simple process for you. But the first step in sending the SMS campaign is actually managing your groups. Uploading the contacts simply syncs your contacts with JOffice, but it's not where you can actually upload all of the contacts that are in your phone. So the step, the first step that you'll take in doing an SMS campaign is actually to go in and manage your groups. So let's go ahead and click on that. Now in managing your groups, um, obviously you wanna like segment your contacts. The thing about the app and the SMS campaign is you can't actually bulk send messages. We're not sending 1,000 text messages at a time. We're doing this strategically, one, because we have to stay within Apple's terms of service and also um, spam and text messaging laws. We can't be mass sending text messages. And two, for this tool to work and work efficiently, it has to be very personalized. This has to be something that won't be abused. The reason why 98% of all text messages are opened is because we're not being spammed to our mobile devices. We don't open all of our emails because we know that a lot of them are spams. Let's do our best to really stay as professional as possible, keep our company as professional as possible, and be respectful of the brand and of our businesses when we're doing this. It's really important that we use discretion on how much we're texting out and what kind of information that we're texting out. So in segmenting your groups, um, I'll just give you a couple ideas. Typically at corporate, we always recommend that you pick your 10 best. Now these are people that maybe own their own businesses or know a lot of people, maybe are very accomplished. Um, they're the kind of people that if they invited 20 people to their homes, all 20 would show up. And then we're gonna wanna create that as a group. So you can see I've already put my group being 10 best in there. And now see this extra income, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that group. So how do you delete a group? You just hit this little pencil and you come over here, click that, click on delete, just like you work your phone. Perfect. And so now I'm going to go and X so that I can stop deleting. Okay, so that's been edited. So now I know I have my 10 best. That's a group that I've made. And let me add my 10 easiest because that's going to be my second group that I make. And remember, we're going to segment our text messages by campaign. So you have campaigns for opportunity. You have campaigns for making money through social media. You have campaigns for looking and feeling younger. So you'll want to segment your groups based on the campaign that you want to send them. So our 10 best and our 10 easiest. Now let's start building up our 10 best. So let's go ahead and click on it. And how do I add contacts to this? What we're going to do is come down to the bottom and click on add new. And for all intents and purposes, I've gone in here and just created a couple um, test phone numbers. That way we're kind of being careful with what's being shared. So let's say this is a contact. This is my Jeunesse Testo one. All I have to do is just press on this number. Now, ultimately, we want these to be cell phones because we can't really text landlines or business numbers. So make sure that you're using their cell number and then just tap on it and it adds it right to our list of 10 best. And if I wanna add another, I already know who I want. Maybe you'll know, maybe you need to scroll through your list. Testo two, same thing, click on it and it adds. Okay, so you can see how easy it is to add your contacts into your group. So really be thinking about how you're grouping people. Is it um, people you've done business with? Is it people you know wanna make money using social media? Is it people that maybe want to get healthy? How are you segmenting? And then use your groups accordingly. So our groups are done and that's the first step in sending an SMS campaign. So what I'm gonna do now is just go back here to my menu and I'm going to go into my SMS campaigns. So if I click on that, right now I have three options. There will be five. Um, we're waiting on the finalization of the videos for the other ones. But right now we've got make money through social media, increase your income. That would be the opportunity and look and feel younger. Now for you guys, you'll want to tap on this little eye on the right hand side because that gives you a preview of what you're sending. So you can watch the videos and I highly suggest that you do. That way you know exactly what your um, 
prospects are receiving. So click on that, watch the videos. Here's look and feel younger. So all three of these campaigns, you definitely want to take a look at. Now, if we're looking at make money through social media, you can see here, once they're done watching this as a text message, once they're done watching the video, they have the option to call me back. This sends me a text message. This pops up an email. And this will actually take them to my site where they can order a sample. So if I were to hit that, it would call my number. If I were to tap this, it would pull up my text message and want to text me. If I pull up the mail, it will pull up my phone's email. And if I click on the little sample, it's going to take them to my website where they can order a sample directly from me. You can see on the top right here, this is taking them directly to my test account. Absolutely working flawlessly if they wanted to order a sample. Now, the sample will only appear if you actually have samples. If you don't, you will get the little Facebook icon um, right here so that they can connect with you on Facebook. Now, in the future, we will be updating this area right here under the Contact Me. There will be other options. Um, we're still doing some market testing on if we want a Join Now button here. Um, because the, the whole point of doing these SMS campaigns is to peak interest. And so ultimately, that's really why we're sending is just to peak interest. This isn't really a quick close. This is just something to get them exposed to the business so they can call back and you can start putting them through your business funnel. So let's go ahead and go back. Now that you've seen the different campaigns, um, I'm going to go ahead and just do this one with make money through social media. So to actually send one, you just tap on the campaign that you want. Go up here and select next. Now it's asking me which groups do I want to send the campaign to? Well, I'm going to go ahead and send this to my 10 best because I know that I have good phone numbers in there. Okay, so this is giving me an alert that my contacts were not synced with my J Office leads. Please run the upload menu option before sending out your campaign. Okay, so let's take a look at this. This is warning me that by sending these, my leads aren't going to be tracked. So what I want to do is go back into my upload contacts and this is where I need to upload these contacts. So if I were to just tap and hit upload, do I want it to be uploaded? Yes. Okay, great. It was done. And now this one, I'm going to go ahead and upload it. Okay, fantastic. That's been uploaded. Um, we are going to be removing this feature so that you won't be alerted. You won't have to leave your SMS to upload your contacts. They will sync for you automatically. So please bear with us as we're working through trying to make this app as simple to use as possible, making sure that you're able to run your business seamlessly. And we've concluded just based on feedback from the field that having you manually have to sync your contacts doesn't make sense. So when you're managing your groups, as you add contacts, this is automatically going to sync for you so you won't be taken out of, um, out of the program. So let's go ahead and we can see we've got four contacts in my 10 best. I'm going to go back to my SMS campaign and finally send this campaign. So we said we would do make money through social media. I'm just going to tap on that and then come up and hit next. My 10 best. I'm going to tap on that and come down and hit send. So when you go to hit send, it automatically pulls up your new iMessage to your selected contact. So it will do them one at a time. So um, it pulls up the little message. I knew you'd like this. Remember, we want to keep things short and sweet. But here's the thing. On these, because they need to be really personal, I always, always recommend that you just go in here and just personalize this just a little bit. I would definitely change some of the verbiage on here to make it really personalized. I mean, if you're text messaging someone, you really want it to be like sounding as if it's coming from you. So I just added to the text to, hey Mel, how's everything going? When I saw this video, I knew you'd like it. Or um, I saw this video and thought of you. Or um, text me, here's a good one. Text me back after you watch this, okay? Because that personalizes something. That's me reaching out to someone I know because if they're in my phone, then we've obviously met face to face or I have a close enough relationship with them for them to have my mobile number and vice versa. So I highly, highly recommend that you just edit this text just a little bit, just make it really personal. And then when you go to hit send, 
it pulls up the next one. So these text messages are going to come through one by one because they're actually coming from your mobile device. So yes, it's going to take a little longer. No, you can't press a button and send out 500 of these messages. But the whole purpose of it is to make it really personal. We don't just want to go out there and spam a bunch of people. You want to make these meaningful and you really want to make them authentic and to come from you and so like I said just go and edit the text accordingly now you can see because I put the same number for these test accounts that I can view the text message that was sent and so because we synced our contacts this particular link here is being tracked and what's fascinating about that is it's actually going to tell me whether or not this person opened that text message if they watched my video if they took a sample, if they actually ordered a sample from my website, and let me show you where you can find that. So that's how you send the SMS messages. So we're gonna go back in here, down here to my alerts, because like I said, the links that we're sending with these videos because our contacts are synced are actually trackable. So I'm gonna come down to my alerts, and it's gonna tell me that people I've been sending these text messages to have actually opened my video because they've clicked on the link. So I can see Dan opened it, Darren opened it, Melissa opened it, Adam opened it, someone opened my video, fantastic. So these are alerts that you're going to get in your business. Now I'll check it out down here. If I have samples, I can see that a sample was ordered. So this is a notification that people were actually placing orders on my website so they watched the video it was compelling enough to lead them to my website where they went and took a free order um, of the Jeunesse products or the Lumines products so we can see so the alerts on here are really really helpful to let you know um, what's actually happening in your business. So say every day you send out 25 text messages. In order for you to keep track, to build your business, do the right follow-up, one, the leads are synced inside of your J office. So in J Builder, J Social, all of the leads are synced simultaneously across all of your devices, which is fantastic. But how do you know who to follow up with? Well, if you can see they've opened the video, I would call Dan back right away and say, hey, I saw that you opened the video. Um, and then just talk to them, reach out to your prospects. The point of these is to pique interest. And so if you're piquing interest and you can get them to call you back, you already have someone in your marketing funnel. And my friends, that is how you build your businesses. So that is how you are going to send an SMS campaign. As I said before, please bear with us because we are working diligently on making this a much more simple process with you being able to just put your contacts in a group and then send the text messages accordingly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you'll join us on the next tutorial.